Good morning. I want to thank uh, Alderman Mitchell for standing here with us. That's just uh, an example of how the police uh, elected officials and the community stick together and partner up to bring these types of events to a successful resolution. So late last week on the south side of the city in the third district, targeted gang related violence took the lives of multiple people in two incidents at a time where we've seen a significant reduction of shooting incidents across the city for the year so far. And just as I said last week, despite the fact that we know these incidents were tied to gang conflicts, it doesn't lessen the weight of what happened. It certainly doesn't make me as a Chicagoan and as a leader of this department any less angry and disgusted at the destruction some individuals are willing to cause by their own hand. It puts under the spotlight exactly the problem that's at the heart of the violence we see in the city. Illegal guns and the individuals willing to use them because they don't fear the consequences of their actions. Nevertheless, CPD detectives have worked around the clock to build a timeline of events to determine what happened and hold the, those responsible for this carnage accountable for their actions. I'm proud to announce that we've made an arrest in the quadruple homicide that occurred on the 2700 block of East 75th Street. 19-year-old Maurice Harris has been charged with four counts of first-degree murder in connection with this incident. This is his first arrest as an adult, and while I can't go into, into the specifics, into his extensive juvenile history, as we've seen too many times before here in Chicago, he's no stranger to CPD, nor is he unfamiliar with using an illegal handgun. This arrest is a clear example of the outstanding police work by the second district officers and the detective work by Area Central, as well as the tr tremendous help from the community that we received in helping to resolve this, this incident. Uh, at this time, I'd like to introduce uh, the alderman who would like to say some, uh, some words as well. Excuse me, Alderman. Good morning, everyone. Um, as alderman of the seventh ward, I want to first state that the incidents um, over the past week is not indicative of the pride of my community of South Shore. I want to take, also take this opportunity to thank uh, Commander, uh, Commander Johnson, Commander, I mean, Superintendent Johnson, Commander Doss, and all the detectives that have worked diligently to get us to this point. Um, and and last, lastly, I want to uh, thank the media for your responsible reporting because you played a part in helping this come, to, come together. So thank you.